a little 12 year old adult beverage uh, just because you know all right maybe not so little all right what is going on tonight guys welcome back to the channel we're doing midnight sessions episode i don't know what number this is lost track uh yeah i'm still working on the same song that i was working on a month ago you know life i don't know what to tell you so i'm gonna be quite honest with you guys i'm brand new to the whole drum sequencing drum mapping stuff so i'm still kind of, kind of trying to get my sea legs with that stuff and learn about it and uh you know my first MIDI controller, my first time using native instruments, my first time using Contact 7, my first time uh, purchasing a drum library. So being new to all that stuff and having no one else to bounce ideas off of or kind of, you know, get help from, I just resort to YouTube for tutorials. So I've been watching countless hours of this stuff to try to figure it all out. And I am starting to make some headway. Needless to say, the song I've been working on here, um, I'm trying to build it out, expand it to make it like a long proggy song with a lot of changes and stuff. Kind of like in the vein of Periphery. I mean, loosely speaking, I mean, they're a hundred times better than I am. But the point is that kind of thing with those different movements, just different tempo changes, um, different vibes and atmospheres within the same song. So I'm kind of pleased with what's going on here now. So what I thought I would do tonight is basically just do a little playthrough of some of the clean stuff that I've added to the song. And as place markers, I put a couple of drum grooves in there, just kind of drop those in. And I started to sequence my own stuff, but then I kind of gave up because it's... I'm just not that good at it, you know, I'm still working on it. So I'm playing to a click track here, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Oh, and I have yet to get a bass library, so I'm considering getting something from Submission Audio. Let me know down in the comments which library I should get from Submission Audio. Umansky Bass, that new Nick Nocturnal one, um, Gin Bass, Gin 2, like everyone else uses, I don't know. You know, I mostly do metal stuff. I'm kind of leaning more towards something that's kind of an all-arounder. Yeah, let me know in the comments what works for you guys, and uh, I'll check it out. So I'm just going to do a playthrough of this stuff now. I've got OBS working, so I can show you the screen. I'm going to throw it up there now for you guys, and uh, let's get to it. I've got the uh, Schechter, handy-dandy Schechter, still in dead get tuning because loving it. Yeah, so this first little intro piece here, which I just called, you know, ESP Mean Clean, I mean... I don't have enough tracks to really warrant, you know, proper labeling, so I'm just calling shit whatever I want to call it. So uh, I know what it is. That's all I need to know. So this first little intro part here, what I ended up doing with these two tracks, and yeah, I double tracked everything here pretty much. So I ran one plugin into another plugin. So I've got Neural Soldano going into Neural Archetype um, Plenty X. I forgot what it was, and uh, just came up with this funky tone. And honestly, I forgot what I even played, so I'm going to have to keep these as my original tracks because I have no idea what these chords were, but let's check it out, see how it sounds. Pretty cool, right? That kind of off-tempo thing, kind of, uh, I don't know if you would call it a polyrhythm, not really. Um, whatever, just an odd syncopation, I think. But it sounds cool, so we're going to roll with it. And then uh, over here in what I'm calling the verse, and this is all just loosely labeled what's on the screen here too. So, you know, right now I'm calling this the verse. That'll probably change. But I'm going to play the click here because I don't have any drums for this part. So let's just turn that bad boy on and let's get to it. See what it sounds like. I forgot what the hell this this part does sound like. This middle section is all kind of different cleans, and um, you know it's melodic, it's pretty, it's whatever you want to call it. And uh, but it comes right after this little heavy part here. So we'll play the heavy part first, and then we'll get into the clean stuff. I'm just gonna play along to it. So got it. All right, so we're gonna do that again, and this time we're gonna get it right. So you know, make sure you have your adult beverage, kids, because uh, this is gonna be a long night. 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But if it is late at night and you want to grab yourself an adult beverage, why not? Because you know, we're just kind of chilling, man, laying back, hanging low, and uh, feeling the vibe. So this right here, I'm going to play the little heavy section that goes right into the clean part. But I'm just going to play along and, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. So I really appreciate your comments. So that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. I just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at with this song and uh, where I am in my creative process and how I kind of conceptualize what I'm trying to put into the song. Um, I'm new to all this stuff, too, and I, I, I don't want to make excuses, but I am a middle-aged guy playing a young man's music, and I just thoroughly enjoy it. I've gotten into it so much so that uh, I don't really care about age. You know, I don't really care about... The fact that I didn't know what a plugin was three years ago. I never used an Apple computer, you know, three years ago. I've never used a MIDI controller before. I've learned how to do all this stuff, and I'm still learning. And it's a, you know, it's a daunting process, but it's a lot of fun. So I continue on. I just push forth and keep going. And uh, like I said, YouTube is a great resource. There's a lot of nonsense on there too, but I mean, uh, it's really a good resource for tutorials and just teaching yourself how to do stuff, especially when you have nobody else around to help show you or guide you, you know, guide the way for you to uh, find your path. Yeah, this song is coming along. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I pull from a lot of different genres. Uh, I like what I like. So if you don't like it, that's okay. You know, you have your own opinions, whatever. Tell me, tell me what you think. But I really appreciate the constructive criticism you guys might want to give me. And uh, if there's anybody out there who just wants to program drums for me, who's really badass at it, you know, let me know. Because I'd rather just hand it off to somebody else and like, Polish it off, make it shine. Uh, it's not my thing. I'm not a drummer. I don't know how to dr write drum beats really well. So that's another thing I'm trying to teach myself right now. And it's a pain in the ass because I'm a guitar player. I don't want to play the drums. I just want to write music, play the guitar, and have fun doing it. And uh, yeah, so, you know, adult beverage in hand. It's late at night. And 
we're having fun here, guys. Midnight Sessions coming at you. This song, I'm going to try to add a little bit to it next time and try to bring something uh, additional to you guys in the next week or so. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot for watching. If you stuck around this long, I really appreciate you guys. Hit the like button on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See ya!